Hello everybody, Richard the Dick Coughlin, 616, how are you? E-cigarette. Here today I've got a very interesting video. I came across an absolute gold mine the other day on a comment section and his username was last white man 28. The fact that he put 28 at the end suggests something quite interesting, maybe that there are 27 other people with that username, which kind of makes it redundant in the fucking first place. I went onto his channel and OMFG. He hasn't got many videos, but the one that he had that stuck out was one entitled Family Guy, Jewish Psychological Warfare Propaganda Machine. Take that in. I'm going to start with the very first bit of the video he has, just in case he tries anything fucking funny with me. The following content presents clips that are held in copyright. Such footage is for illustrative and journalistic purposes only, and is thus presented in fair usage. As is this. Family Guy was developed by Welsh and Canadian-blooded Seth MacFarlane, along with David Zuckerman, a Jew. He's going to use this word Jew quite a lot. Um, he's going to say a Jew or the Jew, as if to suggest that, that a there's only one of them. For me personally, it's more to do with the fact the way he says it, he says a Jew, as if to say cunt. Because he says it so often and I can't think of that many funny feeds, I'm just going to put up a funny picture and a silly noise every time he says it, like this. David Zuckerman is a Jew. Yes, apparently he's a Jew. And he's with Seth MacFarlane, who's part Welsh. The Welsh and the Jews together will be covered in phlegm before you know it. Have you ever heard a Welshman speak Yiddish? Zuckerman, along with other Jew personalities, seem to play a key role in the writing of and overall execution of Family Guy. He's the producer. The producer of a show wanting to have some input into the way that a show he's producing is... Produced? My, how fucking unreasonable. The objective of the show, like all other forms of Jewish entertainment, is distraction and demoralization of the host populace. Now he's trying to use big words there to sound clever. It's a comedy show, mate. People aren't going there for biting fucking insight and philosophical stances that are going to blow their mind. They're going there for because they want to be distracted. They want to watch something entertaining. What's all this thing about Jewish entertainment? Well, give me some examples of non-Jewish entertainment that are not designed as a distraction. I mean, wasn't the Cosby Show a series similar? Was that not a distraction? Or was that more moral in your opinion? I doubt it was, considering, you know... I'll give you a few examples. Oh, thank God for that. Now, I'm unsure if this occurred in earlier episodes... Because he hasn't bothered doing something like, you know, research. But a few recent ones I pulled up online show the dog, Brian, kissing on a human in a lusty, romantic manner, as well as going off to bed to sleep with and presumably have sex with a human. Oh, presumably. They might have been playing checkers. The Jew is, Damn! is conditioning viewers slowly and surely toward not flinching when we hear about someone having sex with an animal. Um, mate, I'm gonna let you in on a secret here. It's a fucking cartoon! Nobody's gone off to have sex with an animal. It's a cartoon! I watch Family Guy, and I'm pretty sure if I met a real woman in real life, right, which I've never done before, but one day, I, and, I, and I said, so what did you get up to last night? She went, oh, God, I had sex with a dog. I'm sure I wouldn't sit there and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what was his name? Yeah, what was his name? Where's he from? It's a fucking cartoon! The dog speaks! It's a talking dog! This is like arguing that Donald Duck demoralizes the good servicemen and women in the Navy because he's got a fucking sailor's outfit on. It's a fucking cartoon, bruv! And while we're on the subject of fucking dehumanizing people, Sunshine, I went on your website. His website, by the way, is fucking hilarious. I'll leave a link to that. It's called prothink.org. There's no irony in that title, unfortunately. And one of the things he's got, he's got all these downloads that you can get. And one of the downloads is a poster, and here it is. Now, you can see it's a poster there of people like uh, Katie Couric and uh, John Stewart, the Jews there, and it's called They Live. And at the top, you can see the writing there, and at the end it says, they, you think they're human just like you. You're wrong. Dead wrong. So while we're on the subject of demoralizing and devaluing and debasing the fucking quality of human life, then who the fuck? What the fuck do you explain that one? Go to his website as well, it's great. The opening headline is, Rabbi explains why he loves sucking babies' penises. Here's what's interesting. You're talking about David Zuckerman. Some of his previous fucking TV shows that he's been involved with include the writing and producing of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I'm sorry, was that a piece of 
Jewish based entertainment intended to distract us. <laughs> I didn't realise when I was watching that, that was actually a very sophisticated piece of interpretive dance and Carlton's dance actually gives you a subliminal message to support Israel. It's not unusual to me. Or maybe I missed the episode of uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air called Jazzy Jeff Goes to Temple. Another piece of work by David Zuckerman includes King of the Hill. Well, I've got the cast of King of the Hill here, let's ask them and see how they're doing about this. Lads, do you like the Jews? Yep. Mm, yep. Mm-hmm. Man, my tolerance is way down. Okay, you can't get perfect. You're a nutter. And then, in high school, I was violated sexually by my father. It happened on numerous occasions, and I was too afraid to tell anyone because I felt like, somehow, it was my fault. So, you do go all the way. <laughs> it's called a joke. You wouldn't actually say that as someone. That's a whole point of humour. I love the fact that I've got a fucking Nazi here who's complaining about political correctness. A contact in Britain... Who he doesn't mention or fucking give a reference to... ...just reported that Vanessa Feltz, a Jew... ...who apparently runs a three-hour talk show on the BBC, aired a show on September 12th of this year, 2008, in which she blatantly promoted bestiality. The Jew... referenced an advertisement featuring animals and stated that she was becoming aroused at it. Okay, first of all, Sunshine, do you take every fucking thing you hear literally? Because not everything people say is meant to be literal. For example, I could respond to you now by saying you are nothing more than a six-inch thick titanium skulled fucking Cro-Magnon throwback thumbless wonder who is nothing more than the byproduct of necrophilic pedophilization of fucking baboon incest molestation. It doesn't mean I actually believe that. It's an insult. Getting back to Family Guy, we also find the baby, Stewie, getting increasingly more homosexual and sexually explicit as we go through the episodes. Again, it's a cartoon. He's an English baby and has a time machine. But you're concerned that he's a bit of a gay. The fact that he's a murderer doesn't bother you. I know what boys like. I know what guys want. I... The Jew <laughs> knows exactly what they're doing with this kind of programming. They are creating new neural associations in subtle ways. Okay, again, with the big words here, what he's trying to say is there's subliminal messaging there. Now, what subliminal messaging is, for those who don't know what subliminal messaging is, subliminal messaging is where you look at something and there's a thing there that you can't see and you don't know it's there, but it's there, and you know it's there and you see it, and it ain't there, but it's there. And apparently, watching Family Guy means we're all going to turn into rampantly homosexual, incestuous, paedophilic dog fuckers. Instead of associating disgust with a grown man having sex with a youngster... Because no one's doing that! It's not real! There's no one actually been having sex with, mate! It's a cartoon! You know in Fantasia, when all the mops are dancing with the buckets? Ain't real. When Goofy's in his fucking car, that's not... We're not sat there... Are we supposed to watch this and go, fucking hell, a dog driving? Keep in mind that Nabla... Yes. Nabla. The North American Man-Boy Love Association, an organization which exists to promote pedophilia, is run by the Jew. <laughs> A lot of people think Nambla is a joke, because most people have only ever heard of it through a South Park episode. However, Nambla is actually a real organisation, the North American Man Boy Love Association. I think they've changed their name or so since. They are a group of brazen paedophiles who want to uh, sort of promote... Sort of, they're an activist group, if you will. They're like PETA, but pedo. Arnold Schoen, a Jew, <laughs> oh, yeah. is a key member. Yeah, do you know what, mate? He's right there. There's a guy called Arnold Schoen. I looked up Arnold Schoen. I couldn't find much about him. Um, all I know is he's from a place called Parts Unknown. And there's only other one person I can think of who was from that place. It is going to be a war! But saying that, yeah, there's probably Jewish paedophiles out there. I don't care if he's a Catholic priest or DPR Jones, okay? Doesn't matter. What is your point? You might also notice that at least every other episode of Family Guy will feature a joke about Hitler, Jews, anti-Semitism, Nazis, or the Holocaust. Literally, at least every other episode. Even though he's never actually watched them all, as he said earlier. I'm sorry to tell you this, mate, but this is just, they're jokes. Here's an example of one for you. See, doesn't matter. 
oh, I'm probably a Jew too. Right? The Jews are just convenient for Nazis because it gives them a get-out clause whenever anybody white criticises them. Because they can't say, oh, you're black, oh, you're fucking, you're, you're not white, or whatever. No, they just have to say, oh, you're a Jew, you're obviously a Jew. You know, and if you're an anti-Semite, you can look at anybody and say, look at, that. Look at me, right? normally, look at me as if you're not, as if you're normal, right? Now pretend you're an anti-Semite and look at me. Like, you can see it, couldn't you? You could see the Jew just come out of it. Why so many jokes about Jews and Nazis? This is to control dissent. If the Jew is the one that laughingly trashes Jews... But it's not the Jew, mate. It's Seth MacFarlane, who's not Jewish. It, pardon me if Jews have got a sense of humor about themselves. Then it can be readily swept aside. The Family Guy is written by the Jew. It's on Fox News. It's on the Fox Channel, which is controlled by the Jew. Then please explain this. Which brings me to tonight's episode, When You Wish Upon a Weinstein. The episode that Fox refused to air because they felt it was too risky. Yet they didn't air the program on one fucking... Because it was too controversial. Why is that? What, was it made up? Did they do it just to make it seem like it was more outrageous? While the constant reminder that Hitler was supposedly an evil man that oversaw the slaughter of millions of Jews keeps people believing that. Yes, the only reason people accept that the Holocaust happened and that Hitler was evil is because of Family Guy. Despite no amount of hard evidence to support the Holocaust myth. I'm not going to get into the Holocaust myth thing here. It's not something I'm qualified in. Here's what I will say, though. And this is for something to you, Last White Man 28, and every other fucking uh, rabbit holocaust, like literal holocaust denier. Like, it's all a myth, right? Don't you wish it had happened? Do you wish it had happened? Or if it was going to happen, would you be against it? Or are you just denying the one that we claim happened happened? As far as demoralization, the Jew did the same thing with violence, beginning in large part with the Three Stooges. Yes, the Three Stooges, that was just graphic. It was brutal. It was like watching Robocop. Eroding our neuroassociation to seeing violence as something to reject, or violent situations as something that we should run to and assist the victim or otherwise prevent, the Stooges, all Jews, methodically molded the human animal to associate violence with entertainment, a spectacle, something to sit back, stare at, and enjoy. Are you suggesting that modern-day gang crime and warfare is a result of the Free Stooges? I've got a question for you, mate. You talk about how it, it, make, it makes violence something of entertainment that we should sit back and enjoy. Right, well, music is a form of entertainment. On your channel, right, you, you have uploaded a load of songs by a group called the Angry Aryans. Now, some of the lyrics of this band, here's one of them. This is a song called Racially Debased. My hands around your neck, your error is mine to correct. The air slowly, slowly dwindles away, your defiled body on the ground it lays. There's also tracks called Matter of Race and Burning Down Brown Town. So who the hell are you to criticise anyone for making violence a form of entertainment when you're promoting a group who promotes violence through the form of white power music? If you care about your family, turn off the f television. Yeah, yeah, turn off the television and watch Last White Man 28. He's got it all fucking figured out. Oh, there's one more thing in his video, can't forget this. If you would like to help support more videos like this, please send a few dollars via PayPal to forcemultiplication at gmail.com. I don't think you're going to get any PayPal donations from my subscribers, but you might get a few emails. Let's end with some horrid Jewish propaganda, shall we? Hit it!